and we're here at the ID TechX show. Hi. Hi. So who are you? I'm Rob Merriman. I'm operations uh, with New Wave Sensors. We're a developer of air quality sensors, um, targeted all aspects of air quality, everything from um, particle monitoring to CO2 monitoring. We do uh, chemical monitoring. So that's BOCs, as they're called volatile organic compounds. Uh, and we do a kind of an all-in-one product that's used for offices. That's combined with a uh, airborne pathogen monitoring. So this would be targeted at hospitals, that type of area. Um, all of our products uh, are wireless in that they have either a Zigbee or Wi-Fi chip. The Zigbee units have a chip in them to talk back to a gateway and then they connect online to our cloud-based software. Is this a special machine, this one? This one is the... So what does it do? This one here is the airborne uh, pathogen detection system. So yeah. that one is designed to detect the presence of bacteria, yeast and mold in the air. And so they just come, the, the particles come in there or where does it, yeah. what does it do? So basically, are you familiar with a Petri dish? So a Petri dish that they would be using in the lab. So we're kind of taking that approach putting the Petri dish into a different format. So this is the format that we use, it's like a cartridge. The cartridge goes inside the device and the cartridge will run for two weeks. There's so, a cartridge? Yeah, so the cartridge will run inside the this, device. This one actually is in there? Yeah, so there's so a cartridge there? in, Yeah. There's a cartridge inside the device that will run for two weeks and across that two week time frame, air will get pulled into the device. If there's bacteria in the air and it settles into the cartridge, it will start to grow. There's basically food for the bacteria in there that will encourage Whoa. them to grow. So we're then using an optical monitoring system to detect changes in growth. So if it starts to grow... Changes in what? In growth. So as the bacteria start to grow, we, we see that using optical, uh, an optical system. We're looking at light scattering patterns that we can kind of map and say, this is a particular pathogen. Is this the one? This is, this is the one here. So I'll give you this, this, one? this one here. And uh, so this is real product? This is a real product, yeah, we're selling that today. This one is uh, aimed at Legionella monitoring, so that's a bacteria that gets into water, and then sometimes it can turn into a mist. And when the mist gets airborne, that's when it's dangerous. So it's basically people can get sick. Um, this one is a mold, so it's an aspergillus mold, so that would be aimed at uh, certain parts of the hospital that would have to be very clean, where you can't have uh, respiratory issues at all. So we typically work in conjunction with companies that are providing a service already to these uh, facilities. It could be a decontamination service, chemical cleaning. So we're the monitoring product and they're the companies that take action. So what, we, how do they take action? They just clean uh, the, the Chemical walls? cleaning, it could be UV, so a light, a very strong light that will kill bacteria. Whoa. Uh, there's filters as well that will- Spraying a bunch of stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. in some cases, yeah. Kill so, everything? Yeah. Uh, in water, it's um, it'd be a closed system. It's not something that uh, we're gonna drink, but it could be a system that is a closed water system using air conditioning and sometimes... Uh, water? Yeah, so they can basically get very concentrated. The so Legionella can get very concentrated in this water and it becomes aerosolized. Um, so is this already existing in hospitals or is this very new? It's quite new. Uh, we are in hospitals already. So In real hospitals that yes, have it? Yes, yep. Like uh, since when? Um, in about the last year, really, is when we, we've been developing this for quite a long time. So we've been, we've been doing trials and pilots and so on. Now and the Legionella the, is not a good thing. Legionella is not a good thing, no. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. But it only detects that? No, it'll detect a range of pa different pathogens, Aspergillus, Legionella, it would also detect. Uh, we have a cartridge that's designed for a broad range of, of uh, pathogens. That's very useful if you just want to see what's out, what's in the, in the area in the first place, and then you can have a cartridge that will be tailored for something that you're interested in. It's important to note that each cartridge is tailored for a particular pathogen at the same time. Hospitals are a pretty good place to go to get sick, right? That's I mean, usually there's like uh, stuff in the air. Yeah. So it's very important to check everything or are you just checking some things? We're, we're just checking the air, uh, but the infection control staff in the hospitals will have a contamination control regime. So that could be testing the surfaces to make sure that there's not uh, contamination on the surface. We specialize in air, so that's our... But they our, didn't have solutions before this? They have... What uh, are hospitals do doing so far? They have a, an approach, yes. It's a, the traditional approach would be they would have a Petri dish, so they would leave the Petri dish out. 
and that would then get sent off to a lab. Uh, it would be incubated, which means it's basically kept at a temperature for a, for a certain amount oh. of time. And then the, that's analyzed and there is a report done. So it's quite it sounds complicated. It's complicated. It takes time. It's expensive. You need skilled labor. And they to do all it. been doing this. All the hospitals. Yes, that's uh, it's a traditional approach. So we're trying to automate as much replace of that. the petri dish. Yes, exactly. And the lab and everything. Yes, uh, there's an RFID uh, tag inside this. So when you load this, it identifies what cartridge it is and registers it online. So from a user point of view, they don't need access to the software. It means it can be managed quite easily on site by uh, st staff that know so how to load it. when there it. is something bad in the air, does it get spread out all over the room? Is that how it works? Um, it or can, don't you need to have several of these maybe you do, spread around? Yeah, you do need to have several of these. We would recommend that these are put in high-risk areas. So in a hospital, that could be a six-bed ward, for example. Um, but. The, in a larger space you would need more of them and it's really down to a kind of a risk assessment about um, the size of the area, uh, the airflow and if there's high risk areas. But it sounds like it takes several days for it to detect something. It depends. It's not instant. It's not instant. It will run on a two week cycle. So I'll give you an example. So if it's running on a two week cycle and during that time it's sampling air all the time through the device, it's monitoring it. And let's say on day 10, it picks up a, a bacteria that you're interested in and it starts to grow in the cartridge. It takes about from as little as six to eight hours, uh, right up to about two days. So it's quite rapid. If you were growing this in the lab, it would be oh. barely visible. You know, it's, So you're getting a very rapid um, uh, co confirmation that something is there. It's just that it, it takes uh, time to grow. There's no way to do all this without growing stuff and stuff. There Can't is, you just there like see that it's there? There is alternative approaches. Uh, one would be called bioluminescence and that's where you use a light source to um, shine a light on bacteria in the air and they bioluminesce so they, they shine a light back, they glow. Um, there's issues with that in that you, it's difficult to be selective, it's also hard to distinguish between live and dead bacteria. Oh. So if you're doing cleaning uh, you're not sure if it's been effective. So there is alternative approaches, but the approach that we're using is kind of taking the traditional method, which is the Petri dish, and combining it with technology and uh, cloud-connected software to uh, automate as much as, as possible. It as much as possible. Nice. So it's new, but the underlying science has been around for a long time. And now everybody wants to know how much CO2 there is. Yeah. So CO2. is this like a big market? Are you selling these? Yes, we're selling these. This is pretty new because. Uh, we sell a range of air quality sensors and uh, a lot of the time it's they're used to kind of troubleshoot the air. So CO2 is great because it's kind of a very simple indicator of if your ventilation system is working. And the theory is if your ventilation system is working, you're diluting the contaminants in the air. It's not the best solution because it's not troubleshooting the source, but it is at least making sure that if you have good quality air, you should be have low levels of contaminants in Does the air. Does air purifiers help a lot in hospitals and everywhere? To just uh, you use the air purifier, it just absorbs absolutely. all this bad stuff also? It's very, very important. So hospitals will have a filtering system known as a HEPA filtering system. Yeah. So that's a very, very... That's what I have in my room. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you can even have a consumer grade one. So It's great for allerg allergic yeah. people. And yeah, if you have allergies, uh, asthmatic, it's very important that you you, you may need one of those if, you, if your allergy is dust, for but example. But then there's still stuff in the air. It, it's not enough just to have an air purifier. Um, it, it depends. So if you are somebody with asthma, you should probably have a kind of an asthma action plan. And that's basically looking at everything. So it's making sure that maybe you need to change the carpets or you need to kind of uh, check the bed yeah, linen. clean once in a while. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. the air purifier is a good addition to that. So it's really uh, helping. Uh, but overall, there's a there's a whole list of things and that you I can throw, do. Throw the cat out. Uh, yeah, some, some people just live with the cat and <laughs> <laughs> sneeze every so often. Yeah, but, uh, that's what yeah. I did for a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So thanks a lot. Um, so are you a startup or? Uh, we've been around for about uh, four years now, um, and uh, we've been kind of um, we've had these products in the market for a while. This product has been. Uh, this is where we started out. Um, it's quite a, a complex product, there's a lot going on, so 
been developing it for quite a while. So there's like a whole bunch of stuff in there. There's CPU, PCB, everything. Yeah, it's what's it, the CPU? Is a secret? It's no, it's 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 a it's a it's not a, a let's say an ARM. An ARM. Yeah, it, it's it's a microprocessor. Microcontroller. You know, yeah, so it wouldn't be. Um, it's doing. It's kind of similar to what would be running in your camera. That type of ah, level, so it's okay. it's powerful enough because it it's not has, running Linux. Uh, no, it's not running Linux. It's no. uh, running embed. Yeah, embed. It's uh, embed software. software. Yeah, exactly. An RTAS. Yeah. All right. So uh, so in your team, you have guys doing this. Are you doing it? We do everything. So we do everything from the hardware. How to much the it software. cost? This would start at three thousand euros, depending on the model that you would go for. And they sell like hotcakes. Oh, it's They're called? selling good. Yeah, the yeah? Legionella one in particular is selling pretty fast because oh, yeah? it's becoming more and more regulated, and people have to be our companies have to be shown to be doing everything that's possible in that area. It's um, it's, it's starting to come into the U.S. Uh, in New York and other countries around the world. So. It's a, it's a real hot topic for us at the minute, but uh, indoor air quality in general is becoming more and more, um, people are becoming more aware of it, so right. yeah, absolutely. I'm sure Trump has one in his flat. Oh, he absolutely yeah. does. He was one of our first customers. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, it's a bad joke. Yeah, cool. All right, well, thanks a lot. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, okay. all thanks right, thanks.